raining crazy guys it's just raining crazy and I'm just not going to be able to go outside and get anything much done today so what is a girl to do so all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and make some fish teas stuff in it I'm just gonna make it nice and mellow so let's go Okay guys, let's move on to our ingredients to make our fish tea soap. I'm going to keep this fish tea really, really simple. It's the reason why it's called fish tea. You don't need to put a whole bunch of things in it because then it's going to be fish soup. And we're making fish tea soup. The fish that I'm using is the king one. You could use your choice if you want to use fish with bones in it. I'm going to use the fish with no bone and that's because my daughter is going to be drinking this and I don't want her to swallow any bones so this is what it looks like it for me pick my fish make them fillet and then this is what it looks like all right so that's the fish you could use even fish head if you want to use that now let's go over what I'm gonna put in here on my plate here I have potatoes I have pumpkin thyme chocho add scotch bonnet pepper I'm gonna have some carrots here and I'm gonna put okra in here I'm gonna add a scallion and uh, this has a little bit of onion in here red pepper green pepper now you don't have to have red pepper and green pepper in it I choose to put it in there for color and flavor um, also I'm going to be using my fish flavored soup in my Cremento seeds, of course. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it. So let's get all these ingredients together. Oh, another thing I have to tell you guys, I'm gonna put dumplings in here, but dumplings I'm gonna put in this little. Over here guys, I have a pot, hot boiling water. You don't wanna start putting anything into that pot if that water is not hot and my pumpkin. The pumpkin is going to give it color and flavor. I'm going to add my chocho, my thyme, add my carrots. I'm not going to add anything else like the potato and the okra and the pepper and the fish. I'm not going to add it in there yet because I want those to go in when the vegetable is half cooked. But I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to add my pimento seed. So drop that in. I'm also going to add a little bit, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now if you want to add more salt, you can go ahead and add it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this cook for about 20 minutes, okay? But do not add the fish in there yet because if you put the fish in there now, the fish are going to mash up, mash up. You won't have any fish when you serve it in here and let that cook for like 15 to 20 minutes and then I will come back and I'll show you the next step okay so this is our next step the soup has been cooking for about uh, four, 15 to 20 20. cooking for 15 to 20 minutes that is exactly what it looks like as you can see the color is just perfect from the pumpkin it gives it that really really nice color that I'm looking for. Now I want to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. The first thing that I'm going to add is my fish tea. I'm going to put my potatoes. I'm going to also add my okras in. I'm going to put my scotch bunny pepper in. And now it's time for me to put my fish in. Because I don't want the fish to mash up, mash up. I want to actually have fish in my so I'm going to go ahead now and add my dumplings in. Just want to make little, little, little dumplings like this. I'm not going to make anything fancy. So I'm just going to add a few of those in here because you can't have soup without some kind of dumpling in it. 
So the Irish potato is going to give it a nice little texture. I'd not put no yam and all that, right? I just had two potatoes in there. Now, guys, this is the time you want to give it a taste test. Just to make sure so you have enough salt content in there. Alright, but that's basically it. I'm going to let this boil for like another 20 minutes. I'm going to come back and I'm going to check it and see what it's doing it looks like so i will see you back in 15 okay, to 20 guys, minutes so the soup has been boiling for about 20 minutes and so that's what it looks like and this is all the fish is still the way i want it to be i didn't let it cook out all right you want to make sure so you have fish in your plate Got my scotch bunny pepper right there, didn't burst. And my okra is still whole. You know one little thing there, mash up, mash up. Right? And I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like on a plate. So I'll see you back. So there you have it guys. My fish tea is all done. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share, share, share. And don't forget, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy! For a good 30 minutes on medium heat, cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's ten dollars for this palette.